Hi there, and thanks for joining us for News 3 at 10. I'm Danica Lewis. A controversial snowmobile trail through Blue Mountain State Park is now a go, and News 3's Chris Gothner tells us why some park users didn't want it. It's a link that was removed decades ago, now restored by the Wisconsin DNR board after approving a 1.4 mile snowmobile trail through Blue Mound State Park. Years ago, there was a snowmobile trail through Blue Mound State Park, so this, this was in existence years ago. And uh, since that's been gone, the snowmobilers had no way to link up um, north, of Blue Mount, north of the village of Blue Mounds. So it really provides a corridor. Some hikers, bikers, and skiers worry the trail would make for a noisy atmosphere. You can hear right now it's quiet, um, and snowmobiles make a lot of noise that go, uh, you know, and their noise carries a long way. Groups dedicated to protecting the park worry about impacts to its scenery, and they say the trail might not be worth the state's time or its money. A acceptable route does exist. So the disturbance in the park and the expense to do that seemed like it might not be worth the usage. State officials say they've worked to reduce any potential environmental impacts from the trail. We take sustainable trail building techniques into play whenever we develop trails. So um, I think from an environmental aspect, we've minimized those um, very significantly. And the state says it's considered all trail users, adding nine miles for skiers, hikers, and bikers. But Abu Romeo worries the noise may keep him away from Blue Mound. I think if it's bad, it will keep us away, yeah, tell you the truth. Um, if there's a lot of snowmobile traffic, I think it would keep us away. Reporting at Blue Mound State Park, Chris Gothner, WISC News 3. Chris, thanks. No word yet as to when the DNR will install the trail.